hopefully the editing there is not too bad but I went to I recently went to Sephora and I got a sample of the Laura Mercier Flawless Fuchsia Foundation mine's in the color Suntan and it's what I'm wearing right now and I think it's maybe a hair dark but um might actually be perfect in a couple months once I am getting much more sun um, <clears throat> I'm also putting in there this cover FX um, it's this travel size powder this is the I think this is this is the mattifying powder yes matte setting powder um, I really I ordered I placed an order with cover effects recently and so I have a few products um, that, from them that I am dying to try um, so I'm putting in the a cover FX mattifying primer, which is also something I'm trying. Um, the cover FX mattifying setting spray. Um, that all came in a little travel kit um, that you can find at Sephora, and I got from Cover FX. <clears throat> Another primer, though, that is going into my rotation is this Mali Beauty. This is the Perfect Prep Primer, um, and it's um, I really like it for filling in my pores. Um, so this is now going in the rotation um let's see another thing that's staying in here is the becca cosmetics anti-fatigue under eye primer i've actually been enjoying this uh, i'm not sure if it's something everybody needs i think if you moisturize your under eye it you get the same effect as you get from this primer but i i've been enjoying it at night um, it's actually reminding me to use something to moisturize something Put something moisturizing in my under eye. Whew, okay. <clears throat> Lots of stuff in here. Uh, for eyeshadow, I am taking out my Laura Mercier Artist Palette. Oh, I remember when this first came out a few years ago. This is a gorgeous palette that I need to get some use, I would like to get some use out of. Um, so that is staying out. And I probably... Honestly, I'm going to get bored with that palette in a few days or in a week, and I'll need a different palette, but for now, that's the palette I'm picking. Uh, I'm also still going to leave out my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette because I have been getting good use out of it, and I want to continue to do that because there's no reason to pay Hourglass pr prices and then not use their products. I tend to like save them for a special occasion. I tend to save them for a special occasion, and um, that's just silly. <laughs> I'm also going to keep out the Naked Basics palette. This is the first one, and if you can tell, I've hit pan on two of the shades there. Um, and I'm actually making good progress on the black. I don't know if you can tell on there. Um, but I like to get more use out of it. For bronzer and blusher, I'm going to be super boring because I am actually working on panning these. Um, panning uh, blush or bronzer always takes forever. So um, right now I am using the Kat Von D Everlasting Face Shaper Bronzer. Um, it is part of what I have on right now and I really am enjoying this powder. I think it's discontinued at this point um, and I know uh, they've probably come out with stuff in more recent years but I bought that way ages ago when I first got into makeup and um, I hadn't used it really until the start of this year um, so I really need to get some use out of that. For blush I really have been enjoying this blush because it goes with pr pretty much every look I've done. Um, so this is from the from MAC and it's from the it's called um, see me hear me extra dimension blush this came from the it was one of those special collections what was it called it was like under the sea take me under the sea i don't know it was like a aquatic it was the alluring aquatic collection ages ago super gorgeous packaging but i don't buy mac anymore because they're not cruelty free um, and I'd like to finish up this one, as you can tell. When I first bought it, there was like a wave embossed in it. The wave is pretty much gone. Uh, so I'd like to see if I can finish a full-size blush. Or at least hit pan on it. Why not? Um, so I believe that is it for products. That's a lot, okay? That's a lot in this basket. Um, but, you know, keeping it out in, out in front like this really really helps me because I'm visually seeing the things I want to use 
and so it makes sure that things aren't tucked away in the back somewhere yeah um, so that's not like everything I'll be using because things I have, um, you know, in other places, but that, that makes up my makeup basket. Um, I tend to use a makeup basket for about two weeks before I need to change up the products. And I also do that so I don't get bored with it because if I try to use it for like a month, I do get bored with some of the products and need to rotate them out. So I've been finding that two weeks is a good time for me. But that is it for me. Uh, thank you so much for watching, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.